my name is Ezekiel Aburo. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the University of Nairobi and also at Nairobi Spine and Orthopedic uh, Center. And uh, today we are demonstrating how we apply various casts in the upper limb. As we know, not all patients with fractures uh, need surgery. And most of the time, actually, we use non-operative measures. And our next uh, video is going to explain how we apply what is known as a use lab. So a use lab is a type of a cast that we apply for patients with fractures of the arm bone or the humerus and usually it extends all the way here up to the region just below uh, the axilla. Uh, the fractures can be either the mid or even at the proximal aspect of the humerus. Uh, we have Cynthia here who has agreed to be our patient or our model today. Uh, for demonstration purposes. And we have Zach uh, Kimingich, who is uh, our expert in applying casts, and uh, he will demonstrate how to do this. Over to you. Yeah, thank you. So very important, any procedure you are doing, uh, you've already explained to your patient uh, what you intend to do. Then you position, and then now you need to have an assistant, very important. <laughs> When you're doing any procedure, especially fracture, you cannot be able to do it alone. So, having an assistant is very important to be able to hold. Then, for our case, we are going to demonstrate how to apply a use lab. An application of a use lab, allow me to take you through the, these are the materials. So we have a, our slab. This is our slab, already we've been able to measure the slab all the way to the shoulder, just above the shoulder, down just below the axilla. Then we have our soft bands we normally spread, and then our clay bandage to be able to secure. Right. Zas, can I ask you, yes, at what level of the shoulder do you go? Do you go just uh, above the region of the shoulder, maybe the region of the acromion, or what exact level do you go? That's a very good question. Always, especially the use lab, uh, just at the maybe a chrome. Yes, exactly. Really that is where we chrome. normally okay. reach. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. So we want now to dip our slab into the water. So remember always how we normally dip. Uh, remember, just the same. Forty-five degrees. Then you allow some pumpers to come out to for five. Squeeze it, don't squeeze a lot. Then, sometimes it's because we are two, then allow both both hands, yeah, you can be able to see, you can be able, can be able to do that. Then, my assistants hold that part. Then, I'm able to hold this side. So we are able to spread our slab, then fold it both sides. Ensure you cover, and then now you bring your slab. So, so then from there, uh, just ensure don't go beyond at zero. Then your elbow should be at ninety. Then I have my assistants there, so we secure with a clay bandage. Still for the first roll of POP, don't tight, don't tight. So it's good to start from factor side. Uh, fracture side, distal to proximal, those are the principles always to be able to remember. Actually, the patient can also even be holding here. Maybe you can actually be hold there. Yeah. So you secure with your clay bandage, get your second clay bandage. At the elbow, you have to be very, very, very careful because this is. The area sometimes when you put a lot of pressure, we get a patient coming back uh, with a lot of swelling. So you make sure you are very carefully when you're applying at around the elbow joint. Then the second uh, clay bandage, you make it firm, not too tight. Ensure my, always my assistant is holding. You can be able to see the part so that it doesn't, when it's set, to not be able to open up. So 
then now uh, when you've applied like maybe two cre bandage you just need maybe to slightly reduce some of these fractures of upper limb or proximal really uh, majority of them they get reduced especially when there is uh, that gravity so you're able to try to manipulate reduce it then you can actually give it now the last cre bandage to secure it to make it firm and to make it strong. So make it firm, at least for that one make it firm. Then you can actually be able to get a strapping. So we want to now secure with the strapping at the edges there. Fold, make sure that the edges So you secure your clay bandage there. Then uh, ensure, you see when you press the nerve or auxiliary nerve, it will be able to cause some swelling. Yeah, you don't want to make sure you're digging into the axilla. Yeah. Okay, but you can see it goes yes. all the way up here and all the way down to the axilla. Yes. So yes. don't forget to always clean the patient. Yeah. yeah explain to the patient if there's any issues. Yeah. Uh, we cannot overemphasize the fact that when you are putting the, the, the slab, the crepe bandage, it's really just to hold it in position. It should never be tight. So from there we normally clean, and after you wipe your patient, at least now we, uh, from there you make sure don't forget to give an, uh, an arm sling. Actually, you can actually be able to see. This is a triangular sling. We have various types of slings, so you need to understand which one normally use when you want to maybe like a, a hanging. So for this one, we normally apply going this way, but now because of you want that gravity, so basically we normally just be able to. You need to be able to have a, a sling because you want that gravity. So you need to understand which type of a slink you need to be able to apply for each and every procedure. So you give instruction to your patient how he's supposed to take care of the use lab, do a check x-ray, uh, patient to be able to be followed up until make sure that the bone is in. Sometimes it's the initial slab that we may apply and then we may apply a humeral brace but I think that it may look daunting to put on, but uh, with practice, one should be able to 